there are two parts of the Trump embouchure that affect how well a student can play and how easy it is for them to play. That includes the lip formation and the oral cavity. Starting with the oral cavity, it's important that we have an open setting. This changes the resonance of the tone quality. If we're looking for an open sound, we need an open oral cavity. And this is done simply by saying the word O. Oh. That drops the jaw, it drops the tongue. And that brings out the lower overtones in the tone quality, which are desirable for most, in most situations. And those students that are getting a very thin sound, shrill, bright, frequently their mouth is too closed, which are bringing out a lot of the high overtones. So once again, by saying the word O, oh, opens up their mouth, brings down the tongue, brings out the uh, lower, richer overtones. Then for the lips, if the lips are in a position where they can't vibrate freely, easily, and are flexible, we will hear that directly in the tone quality and the student's experience for their endurance. So some of the common problems start with, as we said, the mouth being open or closed. It needs to be open. Here's what you will hear. I'm going to show you with, uh, this is representing my mouth. It's going to be open, like saying O, and moving to E, and back to O and E. Okay. So here's what it sounds like when we're starting good. Another problem is when the lips are set uh, in a position that makes it difficult for them to play high notes and that's because the lips are in a loose position. So for instance, uh, students who puff their cheeks, what that does, it means the muscles in their cheeks are loose, which also makes the bottom lip loose. When the bottom lip is loose, it allows them, to, or cuts off the range. It makes it difficult for them to play higher notes. Plus, obviously, you'll hear it in their tone quality. They may also have a very uh, low center of the pitch. Another thing that causes the bottom lip being loose may be smiling, where the corners of the mouth stretch back towards the ears, just like we're smiling. What that does, it loosens the center of the lips and thus makes it difficult to play high notes. The other problem about the smiling position, the stretched lips, is that it thins out the center of the lips, which causes uh, low endurance. Students that complain that they can't play for a very long time without uh, hurting themselves, frequently is they don't have enough uh, pillow effect, what I like to call it. What I mean by that is that there needs to be enough of the muscle or tissue collected towards the center of the, the, uh, where the sound is vibrating. Why? Because when the mouthpiece is pressing against the lips, if the lips are too thinned out, then they stop vibrating because they're getting pressed on. For instance, that's what's happening if the student doesn't have enough pucker to the lips. Now, too much pucker will give you a tone quality you're not interested in also. So this is too much pucker. Which gives us sort of a dead tone to it. So, but there does need to be enough pucker so it feels like a pillow. So I tell the students is, imagine you're uh, sleeping on a down pillow. And at the night, if you notice, the feathers move out to the left and right side and then your, your heart it head is uh, hard against the, the bed. Well, what do you want to do? You want to bunch it together. So it's a nice pillow effect. If they tap on their top lip without setting any embouchure up, they'll feel the teeth behind. It hurts after a while. If they say the word ooh, they'll feel this pillow effect by the muscles coming together towards the center. Uh, 
This will also help with their, their high range. Why? Because as we play higher, we tend to use more pressure. One of the reasons we use more pressure is that the wind is coming out faster, thus to create the seal around the lips, there has to be slight more pressure on, from the mouthpiece. However, if there's too much, it stops the lips from vibrating. So when they're not using this uh, slight pucker and not creating this pillow effect, as they push, as they're going higher, the lips stop playing, uh, vibrating. Thus, their range is capped off. So this pillow effect is something that you want to encourage your students to, uh, to do by thinking the word ooh. Uh, another thing that can loosen up the bottom lip is a bunched chin. If you see it, uh, what they, a lot of people discuss as a, uh, the pit of a peach, where you'll see sort of little dots around. I'll try to demonstrate that here. As opposed to a flat chin. The flat chin helps support the, uh, the bottom lip to give it that firmness we need to play throughout the whole range of the trumpet. To get the uh, flat chin, I like to tell students, imagine you're putting on chapstick. And they do that, it flattens out the chin. Otherwise, if they bunch it up, it, it makes the bottom lip a little too loose. So it's difficult for them to play high. Another common problem we'll, we'll have students who have difficulty playing high notes is that the bottom lip will be too far out. Uh, om almost a little, either too much pucker or a little on the pout side, that the bottom lip actually needs to be drawn in. By just simply rolling the, the lip closer to the teeth, firms up the lip and allows the students to play high notes. In fact, when I'm playing from really low to really high, my lips will actually be coming in and out, particularly the bottom one. So let me demonstrate. If I do a quick slur up and down, here's my bottom lip. <laughs> I'm not doing a lot of effort, it's just my bottom lip is coming in and out. In no time are my uh, lips going past my teeth and into the mouth. If you have a student doing that, uh, they'll have difficulty in every aspect of the instrument, playing endurance and tone quality. So the lips should never pass through the teeth. So those are the most common problems that students have with the embouchure. Please review all of these because you will find them throughout all of your students in some way or another when they're uh, particularly young players.